Hello everyone, my name is Juan Fope. I'm eight years old. I live in a city and I study at Circle of Primary School. Nice to meet you. Today we are gonna to read our book, Oswald Read and Discover, Discover Six, Incredible Energy. Written by Lucy and Richard Spearsbury. Introduction. Energy is incredible because we use it for everything that we do. Energy can make things work, make things to move and to play. When people do things like cook food, listen to music, and use the lamp, they are using heat energy, sound energy, and light energy. What type of energy can you see here? What type of energy makes televisions and computers work? What type of energy do you use every day? Discover the read and discover more about the incredible energy. Chapter 1 Energy Everywhere Energy is everywhere and energy is in everything. We can't make energy and we can't destroy it. When we use energy to make something happen, we don't lose it. It becomes a different type of energy. Converting energy. One type of energy can be converted into another. For example, when we move, we use energy from the foods that we eat. When runners use this energy to run fast in a race, some of it is converted into heat energy. That's why runners look at feels so hot at the end of a race. Discover! When people run, only 25% of the energy in their leg is used to make them move. Most of it is converted into heat energy. Different types of energy. There are many different types of energy. For example, Electrical energy and heat energy. Two important types of energy are kinetic energy and potent and potential energy. Kinetic energy is the type of energy that's moving. All things that move have kinetic energy. Wind is moving air. We use the kinetic energy in wind to fly kites and to sail boats. Things that are not moving also have energy. Potential energy is stored energy. It's energy inside something that's waiting to be seized. It's energy that has the potential to do work. We have potential energy stored in our bodies. When we run, some of this potential energy is converted into kinetic energy to make our legs move. How potential energy works. When we stretch a rubber band, we give it energy. The energy that we use to stretch the rubber band is stored inside it as potential energy. When we let go of the rubber band, it moves. When we stretch the rubber band more, it has more potential energy and it can move more. When we jump on the trampoline, it stretches the trampoline springs. That gives the springs potential energy. When the springs can't be stretched anymore, this potential energy is converted into kinetic energy. The springs move back and this throws us up into the air. From high to low, some things have potential energy because they are high up. When we lift a picture of the floor and put it on the wall, some of the energy that we use for lifting goes into the picture. If the picture falls off the wall, the, that potential energy is converted into kinetic energy. When something is very high up, it has a lot of potential energy. The water at the top of a high waterfall has a lot of potential energy. When it pours, it moves very fast because it has lots of kinetic energy. Discover! Angle Force in Venezuela is the highest waterfall in the world. The waterfall falls almost one kilometer from top to bottom. Goodbye friends, see you later!